Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we have a yoga practice specific for golfers. So I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are a golfer. I am too, I'm no Tiger Woods, but I sure love playing the game. So we're just going to need just a little bit of space to move. So if you're outside, great. If you're inside getting ready to go out for your game, perfect. Just find a little bit of space that you can move. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get started, you guys. So whether you are sitting or standing right now, I just want you to take a moment to let your eyes close and feel your breath. So a big part of golf is just kind of focusing on the shot you're about to make. So what better way than to clear the mind before you start your round today? So just take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. And again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Awesome, you guys. Take one more big inhale and exhale. And then you can just open up those eyes. We're going to come onto our knees. So we're going to be kneeling. Um, so hopefully you are on a soft surface right now. And we're just going to bring our right leg out to the side. So that knee is going to be bent, right foot's planting down. And I just want you to do a little bit of a side lunge here. So just kind of getting into those hips, feeling how tight or sore or maybe open you are today, and just moving any amount that feels good for you. Hmm. So I'm making this Yoga for Golfers video for a few reasons. One, I love to golf, but I could be better at golfing. And two, I want my dad to do my yoga video, so I figured maybe if I made a golfing video, he might be all over it. We'll see. <laughs> so just keep rocking those hips forward, just opening everything up, softening everything. And then we're going to switch sides so you can bring that right knee in and then extend that left leg or that left knee out to the side. So just doing a little bit of movement here just to get into those hips, get into those quads a little bit. Just loosening up the body and if you can still bring your focus to your breath right now, we're still, we still have this opportunity to just calm the mind down, feel the breath. And just know that all those things, calmness, focus, are what we need to play a really awesome golf game. <laughs> Alrighty, nice work you guys. So we're going to bring that left knee back in. And we're just, just going to turn to face the front or wherever you may be right now. And your right foot is going to come forward. So I want you to... Find the back foot as well and then lift yourself all the way up to standing. So we're kind of in a lunge again, but our legs are lifted, our feet are planted. So we're bending into that front knee a little bit or a little bit more as much as you can. So if you're new to yoga, no worries. You might have just a very small bend in that front knee. That's all good. But we're just going to take our right forearm and rest it on our front leg. Turn that palm to face up, waking up that hand, and then reach up with your left hand. So you can look up for a moment, just proud through the chest, pulling that left shoulder back, and then nice and slow, we're gonna go for a little twist just through the torso, so keeping your legs where they are and dropping that left shoulder, you can tap your left hand to your front leg, and then reaching back up, just twisting nice and slow so bring it on down twisting through that torso keep the hips the legs where they are and reaching back up last one twist it down and then reach it all the way up 
Nice, you guys. So we're gonna bring that left hand down to the mat and we're gonna bend that left knee. So we're coming back down onto that left knee. So getting you guys moving a little bit up and down. All right, so the right leg's gonna stay out long. We're on the left knee, and then the left hand is gonna come down to the mat as well. So if you're on your fingertips, that's okay too. If you need to move the knee any amount, you can do that as well, but I want you reaching up with that right arm. So again, going for a few little twists through the torso, just Dropping the right shoulder, bringing your fingertips towards the mat, and then reaching back up. Nice and slow, so keep those hips where they are. It's all through that spine, through that upper body, and just one more. And reaching on up. Nice, you guys. So lift your left hand off of the mat. We're gonna switch sides. So however you can come up to standing, your left foot's gonna be forward, your right foot is gonna be back, and we're bending into that front knee. So the left leg is gonna be the bent leg. Your forearm can find that, that leg, turning your palm to face up, hanging onto your favorite beverage. Don't let it fall, reaching up with those right fingertips, nice and proud through the chest. And then when you're ready to go into that twist, you're just going to bring that right hand down towards the mat, that right shoulder down, and then reach back up. Keep those legs and those hips where they are, and then reach it down. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, twist. Inhale, reaching up. Awesome job, you guys. So lift your upper body back up. We're gonna bring that back knee down. So however you wanna gracefully get there, drop that right knee. This time the left leg is going to be out long and the right hand is coming down onto the mat. All right, reach up with those left fingertips. Look up if you've got it. And then just start to twist through that upper body trying to bring those left fingertips towards the mat. They do not have to touch and lift back up. And then twist. Nice, you guys, reach back up and drop that hand back down. One more, reaching up and then lifting up. Awesome, you guys, so we're gonna come up to standing. So you can stand on both of your feet this time. And bring your feet about hip width apart <clears throat> hip width apart, hands are gonna come to the hips and we're just gonna bend our knees and start to tip forward. So bending your knees a lot, starting to drop the chest. You can stay halfway if this feels good for you. You can have a nice long spine, you can start to squeeze your core, wake up your core, or you can start to drop your hands even further, maybe let your head hang heavy. You might need to bend your knees even more, that is completely fine, but just let your head be heavy. This feeling. The stretch through the back. If you would like to straighten your legs any amount, you can. But again, be, be nice to the back. So any discomfort through the low back, just keep those knees nice and bent. And then starting to bend your knees a lot, even more than you were. And we're gonna roll ourselves up to standing. So let your arms and your head be heavy the whole way up and roll yourself like a rag doll all the way up to the top of your mat. Let your head be the last thing to get there. And once you do get there, roll your shoulders back and down. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, we're going to have a seat. If, you, if you're able to sit right now, if you're outside, just sit in the grass. <laughs> so laying onto your back... Put your feet into the ground or into your mat. Heels are nice and close to your hips, so as close as you can get them. And then you're just gonna lift your hips up off of the mat. Just bringing length to the spine, just opening through the hips here as you lift them up. And feeling your breath. So let's take one more inhale. 
And exhale, lower those hips down. Just roll to the side or rock yourself back up to seated or come up to standing. That is it, you guys. I hope that you're feeling a little stretched out. We did some good twists. So good luck in your golf game today or whenever you're playing golf. And until we meet again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But namaste.